Hello and welcome to The Deep Dive. Today we're looking at something pretty exciting in HIV research, uh, something that's creating a lot of hope. Yeah, there's definitely buzz around this. It's a new study just out of Minnesota and it's showing some really promising results. They used a compound, N803, and combined it with natural killer cells. Mm -hmm. And the big question we're sort of digging into today is, you know, could this kind of powerful immune system boost be the key? Could it really help reduce HIV viral load significantly? And maybe, just maybe, get us closer to a functional cure. Well, what's really significant, I think, is how it goes right after one of HIV's, let's say, core strategies. Which is? Which is its knack for weakening, even disabling, our own natural immune defenses. So for the millions living with HIV, I mean, any step towards treatments that are easier to handle, more effective, or, you know, edges towards a cure, that's huge news. This points in a really interesting direction. It really does. So yeah, we're going to break down this phase one pilot study for you. We want to unpack what these results might mean for treatments down the road, and just for the science of HIV cures generally, it feels like it could really change things. Okay, so let's get into the specifics of this breakthrough. Is it? At the heart of it, like you said, a phase one pilot study. Small, but potentially really impactful. Right, early stage. Researchers gave infusions of natural killer cells, these NK cells, to six people living with HIV. And these cells came from close relatives. Yeah, it's an interesting detail, the related donors. And crucially, they gave these infusions alongside that compound, N803. The goal was basically uh, to give the immune system a bit of an edge, a strategic boost. And that hits right at the problem, doesn't it? Because mm -hmm. HIV, it has this, well, nasty habit, you could say, of messing with NK cells. Right. These cells are like our body's first responders, the natural virus fighters. And when HIV damages them, the body just can't control the infection as well, especially long term. That makes sense. Yeah, this immune weakness is a big reason the virus sticks around. So mm. the idea of boosting those NKA cells back up, that's, well, that's powerful. And here's where it gets really interesting, the results. Mm -hmm. All six participants, every single one, saw significant drops in their viral load after the treatment. Which is exactly what you hope to see, even in a small group. Exactly. And just as important for a phase one trial, the therapy seemed safe. It was well tolerated, no major unexpected side effects. That's, well, that's a great outcome for a first go. It really highlights how clever the approach is. Combining N803 with these NK cells, it's not just a small tweak. It's more like um, rebooting a key part of the immune system. Rebooting, I like that. Yeah, think of it like this. Yeah. You're giving your immune army a batch of fresh elite troops, mm -hmm. right? The NK cells. Yeah. And then you're giving them upgraded weapons. It's the N803 boost. Oh, okay. The whole point was to help the body fight back harder by restoring one of its strongest natural defenses against viruses. That upgraded weaponry analogy really paints a picture. Okay, so we get that what the results look promising. Let's talk about the how. How does N803 actually do this? Right. We mentioned N803, also known as Anctive. You called it the upgraded weapon. It's technically an IL-15 super agonist. Which sounds complicated, I know. Yeah, but basically it just means it's designed to seriously ramp up the immune system, right? right. Turbocharge it. Precisely, yeah. Turbocharge is a good way to put it. It specifically targets and activates key immune fighters particularly those cytotoxic T cells, the CD8 plus T cells. Okay. And as we've been saying, those really important natural killer cells. Mm. And the strategy they're using here, it's got this name, kick and kill. Kick and kill, okay, sounds aggressive. It is in a targeted way. It's a two-step attack. The kick part, that's N803 waking up the dormant virus. Dormant virus. Yeah, see, HIV is incredibly tricky because it hides out in these reservoirs in the body, often inside certain immune cells called CD4 plus T cells, it just sits there, inactive. Right, the latent reservoirs. That's the big challenge for a cure, isn't it? Exactly. It makes the virus almost invisible to the immune system and to drugs. So N803 basically forces it out of hiding. It kicks it awake. Okay, so it flushes the virus out. That's yeah. huge because getting at those reservoirs has always been tough. It has. So then what? That's the kick. What's the kill? Right, the kill follows immediately. Once N803 kicks that dormant virus out of the CD4 cells, making the infected cells visible again, mm -hmm. then those newly activated NK cells and CD8 plus T cells, the ones N803 just supercharged, they swoop in. Ah, the elite troops with the new weapons. Exactly. They target and eliminate those newly exposed infected cells before the woken up virus can start making copies of itself and spreading again. Wow. And destroying those infected reservoir cells, that's absolutely critical if you want to achieve long-term remission or 
you know, a functional cure. That is. That's a really clever mechanism. Mm -hmm. Like you said, flush it out of hiding, then send in the specially trained team to take it down immediately. That two-step approach, activate, then eliminate, that's what feels really new and promising here. It's not just about suppressing the virus that's already circulating. No, it's actively trying to clear out the source, the hidden infected cells. Which really speaks volumes about the team behind this, doesn't it? At the University of Minnesota Medical School, Dr. Tim Shacker and his group. Absolutely. It takes real persistence and uh, innovative thinking to push the boundaries like this. Their work is clearly driving things forward. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, it's important for people to understand this pilot study, as exciting as it is, it's really just the beginning. Right. It's step one. Exactly. More trials are already being planned or are in the works to build on this. They need to see if these results hold up in larger groups of people. Mm. That's just how good science works. You know, yeah. you build the evidence piece by piece. That's good to hear that bigger studies are coming. And it seems like N803 itself is getting a lot of attention beyond just this one study. You mentioned other trials. Yeah, absolutely. There are, I believe, three other clinical trials involving N803 that are currently ongoing. Three others. Okay. Yeah. It shows that researchers see, you know, broad potential here. They're exploring different ways to use it. So what kind of combinations are they looking at in those trials? Well, it shows a really multi-pronged attack strategy. For instance, uh, some studies are pairing N803 with broadly neutralizing antibodies BNABs. Okay, BNABs. We've talked about this before. Powerful antibodies. Right. So the idea there is like a double whammy. Mm. N803 kicks the virus out of hiding. Mm -hmm. And then the BNABs act like uh, long-lasting security guards in the blood, yeah. neutralizing any virus that pops up and maybe stopping new cells from getting infected. The hope is this could lead to really deep, sustained control, maybe even without needing daily pills. Wow. Okay. Treatment-free remission. That's the long-term goal for <laughs> strategies like that. And then there's another trial looking at N803 combined with standard antiretroviral therapy, ARTI. With the standard pills. Yeah. But specifically given very early on, soon after someone acquires HIV. Why early? The thinking there is maybe you can prevent those deep viral reservoirs from ever getting properly established in the first place, or at least shrink them drastically right from the start. That's another key strategy towards a functional cure. And these aren't just small, isolated efforts, are they? You mentioned some big names involved. No, not at all. These trials involve some really major players globally. You've got Rockefeller University, the Thai Red Cross, the U.S. military HIV research program. Okay. It really shows this is a coordinated global effort. Top institutions are pooling resources and expertise. That's actually really encouraging, that level of collaboration. It is. And when you connect that back, you know, this whole research pipeline, it really translates into concrete hope for people living with HIV. Mm. Hope for treatments that are better, maybe easier to take, less burdensome in the long run. Yeah. Look, what's really fascinating when you step back is, yeah. well, we're not talking about a cure being announced tomorrow, let's be clear. Right, important caveat. But studies like this one, using strategies like kick and kill, they are genuinely moving the needle. We're getting closer, exploring avenues we couldn't before. And, you know, understanding this progress, seeing how the science works, that's valuable in itself. So wrapping this up, what does this all mean for you listening or maybe someone you know living with HIV? Mm -hmm. It means this research and the trials following it, they really do bring new hope. Hope for better options, treatments that might be less demanding than today's eventually. It's a real step forward in this long fight. And tangible step. And maybe here's something to chew on. Think about how HIV specifically goes after those natural killer cells. And then think about this kick and kill idea that directly counters that. Yeah. Now combine that with these other trials, mixing N803 with powerful tools like BNABs or early RD. What does that suggest for the future? I mean, how might HIV be managed or maybe even, dare we hope, functionally cured in the next, say, 10 years? It really opens up possibilities, doesn't it? It certainly makes you think about the trajectory. It's an exciting time for the research. Definitely. Now, if you want to learn more about current HIV testing options or need to find a testing lab near you, you can visit www.hivrnatest.com. They offer confidential and fast results across the U.S. And please, if you found this discussion helpful, do like, share, and subscribe. It helps others find this information, and you'll stay updated on the latest in HIV science, cures, vaccines, testing, all of it. Thanks for diving deep with us today. Mm -hmm.